What is good YouTube? I'm back here with another video and today's video is going to be a video on whether the off-whites jumped over Yeezys. Now this is a very opinion based discussion. A lot of you guys might agree with my opinion, a lot of you guys might disagree. Um, so let's get into this video. But before we get started, I am I have told you guys this before, but I am giving away a pair of Yeezy 500 triple blacks in a size 9.5 once I hit 250 subscribers. So stay tuned for that. The dead stock with box and everything. Um, as I guys told you guys in the last video, I am doing a big donation and charity for ASPCA, as well as St. Jude's Children's Hospital for cancer. As I told you guys before, I am a really big supporter of those kids who have no home, who are sick, who have not, not much time to live. I'm a big supporter of them, so I'm gonna be running a big donation. I'm also gonna be donating to a lot of homeless shelters. I'm going to be donating sneakers, clothing, house supplies, also some money. And I go, I told you guys this in the last video, I'm not doing it to show off or brag. Like, oh, I'm, I have money or, oh, like I'm giving away money for free. Like, I'm doing this for a good cause because I want everyone to have a home for the holidays and I want everyone to have a good meal for the holidays. So that's my goal in this video, in the last video. So let's get into this video. So let's talk about the Yeezys. So I have a pair over here. You guys probably seen these before. I have the Turtle Dove Yeezy V1. Um, these did come out. These were the first ones to come out for the Adidas Yeezys, other than the 750s. Uh, pretty dope shoe. I did sign up for a lot of raffles when these came out, but I couldn't get them because it was like, so crazy because it was the first pair to come out. Um, so I did end up paying resale at SneakerCon. I paid about 650 for these, which isn't a bad price as to what they go for now. I think they go for like two grand right now, so I guess I did pay a pretty good price. Um, and the second pair I have over here that I just picked up actually in Houston, as you, if you guys watch my Houston video, I did pick up the Off-White Air Max 97s, the black pair. Um, I didn't get the gray pair only because I couldn't find my size in them, but uh, I'm probably gonna pick those up in, in a few weeks. Um, but yeah, I picked these up for about 600, so I paid a pretty fair price. Um, so yeah, let's get into this video. So let's start off with the Yeezys, in my opinion on the Yeezys. Um, if you guys watch my video, are the Yeezys dead? I did speak about the Yeezys, but I'm gonna talk about both shoes in this video as well. And I'm gonna give you my opinion on whether I think one jumped over the other or are they the same or are they different? Um, so let's talk about the Yeezys. So the Yeezys um, recently, especially the past year, ever since uh, Kanye and Trump have been doing business together, ever since Kanye was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, um, Yeezy's totally changed and Kanye's mindset on Yeezy's totally changed. Before his goal was to, for the shoes to be limited and for them to be exclusive, but now ever since the last couple of months to a year, he wanted everyone wearing his sneakers. So he did make a V2 sneaker and he started off with like a gray and orange color, which was the Beluga colorway. And then he started making many other colors. He made the zebra, which was pretty limited at first, but now they came out three times. Um, he did release the yellow pair, which was the yellow zebras considerably, because they look the same, just the yellow, with the gum bottom, and those were pretty limited, and now they're coming out again. Um, so what I think, <clears throat> I, what I think Kanye is doing, I think he's re-releasing all his sneakers, just like Jordan did with each of his Jordans. Like Jordan ones, they keep restocking. Jordan Elevens keep restocking. The Concord just restocked from 2011. Um, so I think he's doing what Jordan's doing, and he's restocking all these different sneakers. Um, I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing for people who like the shoes and people who enjoy wearing them, because they are a pretty dope shoe. Um, as you guys know, the V1s aren't coming out anymore. It was like the older release, so they're not going to be coming out anymore. They're um, technically lim uh, limited, and they're basically a collector's item now, because they bit came out. I, I did wear these a few times, as you can tell, it's a little dirty. But um, it's no problem. Um, but yeah, I think the Yeezy V1s are like a collectible as well as the 750s. <clears throat> but I think the new ones are all just like regular, like Sesame's that just came out and the uh, Zebras that came out for the third time. Anyone could really get those. Like you could walk into a store and probably still be able to get the Sesame's for retail, which is pretty crazy because back then you have to like wait in lines and wait in big lines with thousands of people just to get a pair of Yeezys and now it's like you could walk in with your mom your sister your brother your uncle and all be able to buy a pair each 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 of you could probably buy two pairs each 
which is pretty insane. And things changed in the past year for Yeezys. Um, I'm not necessarily saying it's a bad thing. It's a good thing if you never had them. It's a great thing if you like them. But it's a bad thing if you're a reseller. As you guys know, I don't resell sneakers. I wear my sneakers. As you guys see on my Instagram, if you follow my Instagram, make sure to follow it at Phillips Kicks. That's where I'm going to be talking about the giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, if you guys do enjoy, if you guys do like the Yeezys and you never had a pair, now is the best time to get them because they are limit. They are not as limited as anymore as they used to be. They're actually pretty, pretty, pretty available um, than before. So definitely, if you haven't gotten a pair of Yeezys in the past, now is a good time to go to the store and buy them. Um, as you guys do know, the statics are coming out the way to this month, as well as the static reflectives. They're pretty much the same other than the reflective part, so they just reflect. Um, they're probably really sick. I'm probably going to pick up both of them because I did see an early pair at SneakerCon Houston, so I did really like them, so I'm probably going to pick up both. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the off-whites now because um, a lot of you guys are off-white fans, off-white heads, off-white maniacs. So let's talk about the off-whites. So I've never been able, I only got a pair of off-whites, one pair I got for retail, which was the the soccer version one, the, um, the Zoom Flies. I don't know if you guys remember, they came out in the black color and the orange color. I think they were called Minacural or something like that. I'm not really sure, too sure of the name. But uh, the off-whites have been killing it lately with their releases. Cause what's, what Virgil did was he, he doesn't really care about everyone having it. He's more, he, he's caring, right? At this point, he wants his brand to build up and he wants his brand to blow up basically. And in the past couple of uh, months, he's actually been one of, considered one of the best designers. He's beaten Gucci and Louis Vuitton in sales, which is beyond crazy. Because if you think about it, Louis Vuitton and Gucci are worldwide. So they have stores all over the world. Um, but so does Off-White. And since ever since um, Virgil collaborated with Louis Vuitton and he's their new men's designer, I think that the Off-Whites are just going to blow up um, in terms of value. <clears throat> I think they're going to become more limited. So if you guys want a pair of Off-Whites, you should get them now before they go up in price. I know they're already pretty much up there in price, but... Uh, they're gonna go up even more. I can promise you that. Um, so that's why I'm buying all the off whites I can get now. Um, I'm not paying thousands of dollars for them. You guys probably think, oh, he's paying thousands of dollars for each pair. I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to find them for good prices. Because um, you guys do know I'm not that crazy for them. I, I like them, but I'm not that crazy for them. I probably would pay more for a Yeezy than an off white, personally. Because um, I've always liked Yeezys more. They're really comfortable and they're easy to wear with anything. Off whites, you gotta like. Sometimes you gotta um, match match with something specific. Um, what I do like with the, about the off white brand is I like that the fact that he's collaborating with every, a different Nike sneakers. So he collaborated with a Hyper Dunk. He collaborated with the Air Max 97s. He collaborated with a Jordan One, which went crazy when he did that. Because Jordan One is one of the best Jordans, most popular Jordans to ever come out. So for him to collaborate with a Jordan One. That, that blew up. Um, as you guys saw my last video on my Houston pickups, I showed you guys the pair I got. I got the blue UNC Off-White Ones. Those are insane. But for him to collaborate with different Nike sneakers, I think that that builds his brand up, but it also br builds up all those different Nike sneakers, such as the Hyper Dunks. I think those, were, those are gonna be more popular now ever since he collaborated with Hyper Dunks. I think the Air Max 97s, they've been popular, but I think they're gonna be even more popular now. Um, I think Zoom Flies are going to be way more popular now ever since they dropped all those colorways. Um, but I think off White's really smart because I think he, he knows exactly what he's doing and he doesn't really care, oh, I want everyone to wear my sneakers. Maybe in the future this is going to happen, but for now his goal is to build his brand and make sure his sneakers are highly, highly limited and highly, highly popular. And he's been doing his thing. Um, in my opinion, if you guys were to ask me to did, did off-white jump over Yeezys, I wouldn't ne wouldn't necessarily say he jumped over Yeezys. I think that he has a way more limited line of sneakers than the Yeezys are. Um, I think some of his sneakers are doper, way more doper than the off than the Yeezys. But um, I can't tell you that he did jump over the Yeezys only because of 
what Yeezy has done in the past and the craziness that's been going on with Yeezy years ago. Just because it's kind of dying out right now, I can't really judge based on just one year. I could, I can't judge on one year. I have to judge all across. And what Yeezy has done in the past was crazy. So I can't really tell you he did jump over Yeezys. I could, all I could tell you guys is uh, who has the more limited brand. I would tell you is Off White because he doesn't drop more than a hundred thousand pairs per sneaker every release. Um, in terms of looks, I, I won't lie. Uh, some Off Whites are way nicer than the Yeezys. They, the texture, the quality, the design is way nicer. Um, but I know most of you guys are going to probably say Off-Whites have jumped over Yeezys, um, which I can, I'm not going to disagree on. It's just based on opinion. Um, I do like the Yeezys more, but I, I'm not taking anything away from Off-White. I think what he's done is crazy, and what he's done for his brand has blown up, has been in other brands. So I think he just got to keep doing his thing because he's doing a great job with um, monetizing his brand and making sure all his all his sneakers sell out. Um, the Yeezys, it's just two different designers. As you guys do know, Kanye did bring Virgil up to what he is now. Um, but now most of you guys think that, oh, Virgil, Vir Virgil's on top of Kanye. And I do agree on, sep on some, uh, to some degree, but I do like both, both brands. I do like what both brands have done. I think both brands deserve the same um, credit. Um, I do enjoy both of them. I like both sneakers, both brands, both they both have different um, quality sneakers. They both have nice designs. They both have different lines of sneakers. So I really enjoy the Off-White brand. I enjoy their clothing. I like their sneakers. But I also enjoy the Easy brand as well as their sneakers. Don't I'm not taking anything away from the Easy brand. Um, but yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I am doing a big giveaway. On the Yeezy 500s, as I told you guys in the last video, I'm gonna guys keep I'm gonna keep telling you because just in case you guys forget. Um, but yeah, all my information on the giveaway is gonna be on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me at Phillips Kicks to see more about that. And let me know down below what you guys think about this video and what you guys think. If has the Off White jumped over Yeezys or have are they both? the same in terms of quality in terms of design in terms of hype and don't think don't think about what sells out quicker think about what shoe looks better what shoe has been doing well not even just this year but in general think about Yeezys back then and think about Yeezys now don't just think about Yeezys now think about the whole Yeezy brand and let me know down below what you guys think if the off-whites did jump over Yeezys or if they didn't just let me know down below what your opinion is and also let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see so I can post good content for you guys. So uh, I'm going to go now. I have school right now. And then I have to uh, post a couple more videos for you guys so you guys can watch some good content. Um, so I'm going to see you guys later. Um, if you got, Always stay positive. Keep Follow your dreams. Stay strong. Be, always have courage and always do what you want to do. No matter, <clears throat> no matter what people tell you. And... I'm going to see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'm going to see you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.